gentlemen from Abilene Christian are with us, Jalen Franklin and Jaron Lewis and Coach Golding making his way up right now. Uh, Coach, if you could, just some opening thoughts about this game tonight here in Jacksonville. Yeah, Kentucky is all that. You know, they're really, really good. Uh, it's the best team we've played uh, this year, uh, them at Texas Tech. We wish them the best of luck. I'm proud of our guys. They didn't quit. Uh, they represented our university and our city in a first-class manner tonight, and they've done that all year, so I'm extremely proud of them. Coach, thank you. We'll get some questions for the players. We'll get them out of here. If you have some questions, raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you um, here on the third row. Yes, sir. Jalen and Jaron, just how tough was it kind of adjusting to what Kentucky has personnel-wise? Um, it was pretty tough, you know. Uh, we just couldn't hit, we couldn't make shots. Uh, shot 19% in the first half, and in the second half, we um, pretty much shot 45. What, what, 45? Yeah, I guess. Um, it's just first half and uh, turning the ball over the first half, it really hurt us. Yeah, I mean, it's tough uh, adjusting to the, all the length at the rim. And then uh, we knew what we had to do. It was just a tough challenge for us. Uh, getting on the glass, but uh, yeah, the turnovers killed us, and we just couldn't see anything fall in the first half, so it was tough. Any more questions for the players? If not, well, here we go, third row again, yes. But result notwithstanding, just what was it like being out there and just kind of experiencing that in, in this setting and in this time of year? Uh, I mean, it was a great experience being out there for March Madness and everything. It was uh, great knowing it was the first time in our school's history. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, it just stings losing like that. And then uh, being me, Jalen, and Hayden's last game, uh, it just hurts. But it was a great experience, something we'll probably never forget. Going off what Jan said, it was a great experience, uh, something we won't forget. Um, just knowing it was out there with Kentucky, you know, one of the biggest schools in the nation and just out there competing. Any final thoughts for the players? Guys, thank you very much. Congratulations on a great run. We'll continue with Coach Golding here. Questions for Coach Golding, if you have any others. Yes, sir. I'm glad you stayed around, man. <laughs> <laughs> just, I mean, kind of off with what the guys said. I mean, not the start you guys would have wanted, but just what did, what was it like watching this group of guys it get to experience what they did tonight. Yeah, we couldn't score the basketball, you know? I mean, that was the that was the key. Um, we, I thought we ran some good stuff there for a while. Um, we just couldn't finish and we couldn't score. Um, honestly, watching tape, I thought we could score it if they didn't switch us one through five, but Coach Cal knows what he's doing. It's obvious, he's got really good players and he's won a ton of games. They switched one through five and we couldn't see the rim, you know? So um, that, that was the frustrating part, I think, but when you look overall uh, at the game, I, I was really proud of our guys and the way they competed in the second half. It had been really easy to lay down. You know, Kentucky doesn't have his bench where the guys hurt. They're continuing to play the same dudes that, that played the whole game, and I thought we did much better in the second half of competing than we've seen the ball go down. Um, so I was proud of them the way they finished. Listen, these three, these two and Farquhar, these three seniors, they're, they're going to be celebrated at Abilene Christian for the rest of their life. They're the first one to ever do it. You know, they'll be a second, they'll be a third, but they'll never be a first, you know. And so um, we're going to celebrate these guys, and we're going to have a lot of fun celebrating when we get back to Abilene. So um, it's been a lot. Um, you know, when I looked up there, we had more people in Jacksonville, Florida, at our game than we did back home, I'm telling you. We had more people a night, man, and, and that meant the world to me. I mean, Abilene Christian and March Madness filling up a whole section. Uh, if you knew where our program came from, man, that's really, really awesome. Let's go on the back left. Yes, sir. Coach, nearly $1,000 has been raised on a GoFundMe page for those ripped pants. What are your thoughts on that? Well, this suit's done, you know. Uh, we're going to retire. It wasn't very good luck tonight, man. So but it's been a heck of a run with it all year, man. So we're going to do something fun with that money. I'm obviously not going to spend that money on a suit, but uh, we're going to find a charity or something out there, and, and, and uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. Next door, yes. Coach, this has been, you know, the best, one of the best seasons ACU's ever had. Um, emotional because I'm going to be leaving you as a senior, and I'm glad you waited till this year to do it. I've been enjoying covering it. But just talk about this season overall, and, I mean, it's – You've broken a lot of re lot of records, a lot of firsts. Just talk about the emotions of this season. Yeah, it's the second year we've been eligible for postseason play. It, uh, this is just beginning, you know. This is the beginning, man. It happened really fast. I'm really glad our university can experience this. I'm glad our players can. It's going to help our program. It's going to help recruiting. It's going to help our university. Uh, we've got a lot of exposure from it, uh, and we're going to celebrate it. But uh, I think it was the best season in ACU history. I don't think it was one of the best. I think it was the best 
uh, season in school history, and we're going to celebrate those three seniors in this team like it was the best because they deserve it. Here in the third row, and then we'll go to the back next. Coach, not to, to close the book too quickly on this year, but what, what does this do for you next year and, and down the road to bring back a group of guys that, that got to experience this? Yeah, well, uh, I mean, time will tell with that, but we have a bunch of young kids back. Uh, we're obviously losing three really good seniors, but we got some good young kids back. We got to recruit, you know, losing those two four or five weeks ago may recruiting a little bit different now. Uh, we got to go sign four guys. We thought we were just signing two. Uh, we've built this on high school kids and a culture uh, and really developing, evaluating talent and trying to develop. And so we might have to, you know, get creative in recruiting here through grad transfers, JUCO or something, but we're not going to change who we are. And uh, I think our program is going to move forward just like I think our university is going to move forward. I think, uh, you know, our president and board, they had a plan. They wanted to put ACU on the national map. And for the last 48 hours, we were. And a lot of that is due to the University of Kentucky. We, we owe University of Kentucky a lot. Um, and so for, for being able to have the opportunity to compete with them. And when they talked about Kentucky, they learned about Abilene Christian, and that's what I'm most excited about. We've got a university that we're really proud of. Uh, it's good people there. It's a good, it's good school. It's good academics. It's a great town, and I'm glad it was celebrated the last three days. Standing back left. Just again to clarify on the suit. So this is the you're st you're wearing the one that was ripped, and did you get that repaired or or managed your way through it, <laughs> keeping it hidden from everybody? Yeah, I just wore the jacket tonight, man. If you know me well, I don't I don't usually wear the jacket very long, but I kept it on today. Um, but yeah, there is a hole in there. there there's no question about that. And uh, obviously, it got a lot of uh, sound bite, you know. And, and I'm glad it brought some attention to our university. But I want to make sure moving forward that these, this team is celebrated, you know. It's not my hole in my pants. It's, it's our team and it's our university because they deserve it, man. These guys, these guys have been incredible, man. I'm fortunate to coach them. They